Hi, in this lesson I would like to talk about uh, when uh, DVM or multimeter is not enough and we have to use this tool, this uh, scope, it doesn't have uh, to be electronic type, there are many uh, scope on the market, also a uh, few Chinese companies with uh, uh, let's say not too expensive equipment that uh, can be bought about uh, $100 and above uh, I'm talking about uh, portable uh, scopes and uh, but first uh, let's talk uh, when do we need this guy okay so there come the time uh, I will try to analog it to a diver that is going into the sea with, uh, and want to catch fish with uh, his gun and uh, he hasn't got, got uh, goggles so basically he can't see what is going into, into the water inside the water so to demonstrate this I will use an Arduino with a very simple code that I wrote which is doing basic very basic function which is turning digital port to high and then turn it to low value so we have a kind of square, square wave and we want to use it and measure it for uh, something for example we want to uh, use a motor PWM and uh, let's see what do I mean so in DVM we will not be able to see the square wave the only way to see it is with the oscilloscope I will do some lessons going into details of how to use this uh, oscilloscope and uh, make the best that we can uh, get from it but uh, first with the very small example now the Arduino is connected to the oscilloscope and basically what I'm doing is 10 milliseconds the value is high and 10 milliseconds the value is low and it is now configured that I can see that the width is 10 milliseconds plus plus width which means the high and the minus is also 10 milliseconds okay so now let's change uh, the value not to be same so I will put the high high value time for 20 milliseconds and compile the software and let's see how it affects the scope picture <coughs> okay and we can see that the time now is 20 milliseconds in plus and minus is 10 milliseconds so the scope is giving us a very good picture of what is going on we can also of course see the voltage value which is 5 volts how we can see it we have here on the uh, top left side uh, the value is written 2 millivolts and this is mean 2 millivolts per square on the LCD screen so we can see that we have basically two and a half uh, two and a half uh, uh, squares so this means it is 5 volt and of course we can be able to measure it if I will put a measuring to measure the voltage peak to peak I will add it to my screen so now we can see that the voltage peak to peak is 5.5 volts okay let's change the picture a little uh, we can change it on the vertical and on the horizontal side of the scope okay so now the value are not changing 
but what I see on the screen is changing. Why do I need that? I will also explain, explain later how it is all working. But basically what you see on the screen is what the scope analyzing. So now we can see that the voltage peak to peak is 5.4 volts, which is more accurate now because as the signal will be more open on the screen, the ADC that uh, is calculating the value inside the oscilloscope is giving us a more precise picture of what we see. Another important thing about oscilloscope is to know the bandwidth and the sample rate. We have here on the side we can see that the bandwidth is 100 megahertz and the sample rate is 1.25 giga samples for seconds. Why do we need this? This is of course very important information which tells us that this oscilloscope can measure 100 megahertz let's say shine wave and it will measure it with a dB loss of 3 dB. What this means is that if I will put to this uh, probe a signal of 100 megahertz at uh, 1 volt basically what I will see I will see the signal of 100 megahertz but I will see only a 0.7 volts which is 3 dB below uh, the actual value that I am measuring and this give us what is the best picture and the best frequencies that we can measure on the oscilloscope and the limitation of it. So if you would like to see let's say 200 MHz signal we can see it here, we will see the signal but we will see it much lower voltage than the real voltage that is going into the probe because it is not fast enough to require the, uh, the voltage and give us the picture. Okay, so I will do a few lessons how to use this scope, how to connect it in the correct way, what are the limitations, I will talk about all the measurement available inside and uh, basically I'm talking about electronics but other brands like uh, Agilent and uh, uh, let's say uh, other kinds uh, Lacroix is a little different but the big name like uh, Agilent and uh, Tektronics and Roden Schwartz and some other most of the menu are almost the same. There are some different things between them, but basically they are the same. Okay, so thank you for now. Bye bye.